Hey guys, this is Trial Gamers 90s here and welcome to this Inform Sessignon review. Today I've got a slightly different type of review for you because uh, basically he's a midfielder and I haven't been able to score too many goals because I didn't play too many games either with him but I, I've uh, decided to play a game and show how he performs uh, in that game and so I'll be just doing a post commentary on that game and so basically is, is, is in, in form Sesenio worth it yes he is very cheap he is very affordable and uh, you know for that price you know for an in form in the Premier League as a center attacking mid you know he is perfect uh, as you can see he played seven games for me and he scored three goals and two assists which is actually pretty decent and he did better than that in-game for me. Guys, we are now moving on to his in-game mental and physical attributes. So he has a really good, uh, he has really decent pace. Uh, as you can see, he has, he has decent pace. He has really good agility, 86 agility and 92 balance. He also has 84 attack positioning, which is really good. And he also feels really strong in-game. So his strength is not an issue at all. He has really good dribbling, 85 dribbling, you know, pretty sweet stats there, 85 penalties, uh, 83 shot power. He has a very powerful shot on him. He can score bangers from time to time. And yeah, guys, those are some of the standout stats for me. So yeah, guys, now we are going to be moving on to the post commentary of a gameplay and we'll find out how he plays actually in game. So guys, we came up against this 100 chemistry team, uh, a pretty decent looking setup uh, in the Champions Shield. And uh, yeah, guys, I think we should be able to take on this team. They don't look too good. So his, his setup is kind of shit to me. It looks uh, okay and nothing special. But we are playing in this Champions Shield tournament. And this is our first round and we start with the ball. Now, Sesenion has the ball. He passes it to uh, our left back. And I, I don't know how to pronounce his weird name. But yeah, Sesenion... Uh, has the ball gets uh, tackled but uh, yeah this is Mata again Mata finds it finds Sessegnon and Sessegnon is going to de deliver a low cross and that gets intercepted and goes out for a corner now Mata is taking the corner he finds the keeper he passes it directly to the keeper Sessegnon has an opportunity now and that goes over the keeper so yeah guys uh, I've noticed that his weak foot isn't as good as it used to be as it was in his last ever inform in FIFA 13, that 5 star weak foot, remember that guy? It's now just the 10th minute and he makes a noob move with his keeper. As you can see, he makes a stupid silly mistake, a shitty mistake there. And uh, Diego Costa is up front and he's, he's, going, he's going to score those. And uh, really a dumb move from uh, his keeper there. Uh, and so yeah guys, uh, as I was talking about Cesar Neon, his weak foot what isn't as good as it used to be. Uh, it's kind of disappointing that I've tried many shots with his uh, left foot and it is, is, isn't as good. And, and what the hell is my keeper doing? Hugo Lloris, what are you doing? A stupid mistake and nearly cost us a goal. And he, I don't know what his player was doing. That was an open net opportunity. How did he not put it in the back of the net? Again, you can see this guy is a new player. And yeah, guys, there was also a little bit of lag in the game. So that could have affected uh, his uh, shooting. But still, that was an amazing opportunity to miss out. So yeah guys, as I was saying, he, he, Sessegnon's weak foot, I've tried scoring a lot of goals, uh, I mean taking a shot, lot of shots with it, but you know, his weak foot is not as impressive. Maybe in the 18 yard box, it's, it's alright, you know, you may be able to finish, but yeah, his weak foot is disappointing guys. So uh, as you can see, now Yaya Toure has the ball, pass it back to Sessegnon, Sessegnon now is on a great run and he is muscling off defenders you can see his strength and takes a finesse shot outside the box and what a finish from Sessegnon what a shot that that's his long shots I'm talking about guys he has phenomenal long shots he has some uh, great shots on him and he scores more goals outside the box than he does inside the box which is kind of stupid and that's kind of crazy as well but you know he he has uh, his finishing is kind of hit and miss sometimes inside the box but outside the box guys holy shit he can score bangers from time to time and yeah guys uh, down, it's the 45th minute and you know what 45th minute means in this stupid shitty game it means 45th minute cheese and it is uh, fortunately I think it's going to be in our favor because as the ball goes out now you know uh, our left back uh, has the ball and passes it to Matic 
and Madic now ha finds Mata. Mata now dribbles inside. Look at his dribbling, guys. If you haven't tried this left wing Mata, he is an amazing player. He is so good in, in that position changed uh, position uh, if you haven't uh, used him already. And yeah, guys, now Mata finds Sesenio. Sesenio misses, as you can see, but he scores it in his second time. Uh, or a chance given and he puts in the back of the net that was a very acrobatic finish but he should have put it in the first chance and that's his finishing that I'm coming to it can be it can be like hit and miss you can miss from time to time uh, but you know I, I, that's why I went with uh, uh, you know with a chemistry style with marksman chemistry chemistry style because I tried to improve his uh, shooting and um, so basically you should go with uh, one of the shooting chemistry styles and still as you can see it was uh, not enough so imagine his normal card will might struggle a little bit more at finishing again i take with his weak foot what a shitty shot that was that was terrible i thought it got deflected no but that was oh my god where was it going so yeah guys his weak foot unfortunately is disappointing but he is strong he can muscle off defenders you know, he, he's uh, a short player, but he can do so much damage. Like, Diego Costa gets taken down, but, you know, that was an open... Basically, that should be a red card. What a bad decision from his umpire, from the umpire there. So, yeah, guys, uh, otherwise, Sessegnon would have scored. So, yeah, guys, uh, final verdict is Sessegnon is an amazing player, guys. Definitely picking up, and he is so cheap. Uh, for the price he goes for, we, you know, he, he's, his right foot, you know, is a rocket. Sometimes, you know, he can score some amazing goals uh, from time to time, actually. Not sometimes, pretty much every time. When I shoot with his right foot, his, his long shots are pretty accurate. So, yeah, guys, uh, as this is the 90th minute. And again, as I talk about the cheese in this game, 90th minute cheese. And also a bit of poor defending as I was pushing forward too much, you know, to score more goals with Sessegnon. But it was not to happen. And that's how the game ends guys and that was a, a really good 3-1 uh, win and as you can see Sessegnon with the man of the match with 9.5 rating and two goals and uh, also Diego Costa scored one goal and so yeah guys so is he worth the pickup I would say yes he is he he is an amazing center at hacking midfielder in this game he is so strong he his strength is amazing and look at that shot what an amazing shot he can score bangers from time to time he has a very powerful right foot his finishing can be a hit and miss sometimes but you can uh, improve that with uh, chemistry styles like sniper or something hunter or uh, marksman like i did and so yeah, yeah yeah guys he's definitely worth the pickup he is strong he's agile he's also pretty quick uh, his passing is also pretty decent. He's, he's, um, he uh, did make a lot of assists. He made a couple of assists as well. Uh, and he was making chances. Uh, he was creating chances. And so, yeah, guys, a uh, final rating for him is going to be 9.2 out of 10. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like, share. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.